Hey guys, Jason from Smedco here, and I apparently have no sense of time and space whatsoever because I did not realize the Star Wars celebration was happening today. Um, for some reason, I thought it was like next month, but I woke up this morning and whined and groaned because I didn't want to be awake, and I rolled around and flopped around like a fish, and I grabbed my phone like I do every morning and started checking uh, emails and the news and whatever and realized that very quickly this not only was Star Wars celebration going on, but there was some movie news already released, and maybe we'll talk about that later, but um, there was um, an Indiana Jones trailer released, but most importantly was the one thing that I've been looking forward to for months, and that is the trailer for the new Disney Plus series, Ahsoka. Ahsoka being one of my favorite characters, but not only that, um, it's been more and more obvious as um, The Mandalorian has gone on and just news coming out with casting and um, production stills and things like that, that this is very much going to be like a Rebels 2.0 no offense to Ahsoka, who's an amazing character, but we've talked a lot about in during streams about how Rebels is probably <clears throat> one of the, if not my favorite, um, Star Wars series out there. As much as I've talked about Andor being the best written Star Wars, I think uh, the crew of the Ghost and everybody around Rebels just holds such a huge place in my heart um, as more and more characters have been showing up from Rebels or news about them have been showing up. I've just become more and more excited and you know the more and more um, plot lines have been developing in series um, uh, connecting together or whatnot it I start wondering more and more how much Dave Filoni might be doing um, the Thrawn trilogy um, books from Timothy Zahn way back in I think the early 90s or whatever Heir to the Empire gets me even more excited. So I've I have been looking forward to this for a while. I'm gonna stop talking. We'll talk at the end of this. Um, I am nervous but excited. Um, I threw all of this together in a couple of minutes. I'm still using like my stream assets as far as like my just chatting stream and things like that. So I apologize for a little bit of the jankiness, maybe. But I really wanted to um, get this together. I've been wanting to do reactions for a while, and I kind of wanted Ahsoka to be. Um, that that first foray so i'm kind of working with what i have so give me some time and maybe it'll look a little bit better in the future but that doesn't matter right now what only matters is let's let's take a look at ahsoka let's see if we get um our first real look at um sabine and and maybe hera those guys let's you know what let's just do this let's just do it let's go Something's coming. Something is coming. Jedi ruins, maybe? Something dark. Hello. Oh, hello. I love I love that move. I sense it. I sense it too. That's probably what the goosebumps are. Oh, I love this red. This is something. There she is. And a loath cat. She looks amazing. Whoa. Hera! Oh, for others. And Chopper. Hello, who are you? Hello, who are you? Tower. Oh. Let's go. Oh, this is straight out of Rebels, the shot. It's been a while. Things have changed. Little retconning. Ooh. I started hearing whispers. Mon Marthma? Hello. Did they say Mon Marthma? About Thrawn's return. Oh, is that all we're gonna get of him? heir to the empire she said it she said it let's go morgan Elizabeth. Elizabeth. we have to prepare for the worst who is he the jedi fell a long time ago get a vader moment here many left hello ezra oh my god It is time to begin again. I, I, first of all, holy, oh, I mean, hello. That droid seems familiar, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why that droid seems familiar. 
Um, maybe it's a Clone Wars character. I should well, so say. Um, way of I should say that um, I've seen like a little bit of Clone Wars, and I know of some of the story arcs in Clone Wars, but I've never actually gone through and seen it. Um, I'm considering with Ahsoka coming out. I'm actually thinking about going through and maybe doing recording a watch along of the Clone Wars ep episodes. I'd like to do like a watch along of Clone Wars. And then do like a, a rewatch of Rebels leading into Ahsoka. I don't know. I believe this is coming out in August. And I'm not entirely sure there's enough time for all that. I think Clone Wars has like 120 some episodes maybe. I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's so much. There's so much to look at in this. Um, I am glad that we didn't get like a full view of Thrawn yet. We haven't gotten a real um, look at Ezra, which is great because that's their, not only, I think is Ahsoka trying to unravel the mystery of Thrawn's return, but of course with Sabine and everybody else, they're trying to bring Ezra back. I should say um, from this point forward, there's probably gonna be a lot of Rebel spoilers we're gonna talk about in the next couple of minutes. So if you haven't seen Rebels and you want to, thank you for watching. Um, I adore you. Thank you. Um, but um, I mean, we haven't found him yet, so we don't know what he looks like. We don't know his state. We don't know what he's gone through. We don't even know, I think, the timeline of this. I, I want to say maybe this is probably going on about the time of the Mandalorian. And even that right now is a little bit um, up in the air as far as where we are. We started out, I think, three years after Return of the Jedi. And at this point, there is a lot of timeline questions. We could be anywhere from like five to 10 years beyond um, Return of the Jedi at this point. So I, I don't know when this takes place. And there was a lot of timeline questions at the end of Rebels um, with the montage at the end of which we actually see here um, exactly how long after um, Return of the Jedi that that takes place. But um, let's just take a, a quick look through this again. I I was I I haven't been like real quiet about the fact that I still wasn't like overly like thrilled with the casting of Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka and she still like when she showed up in the Mandalorian still seemed a little off to me. Um Rosario Dawson's amazing, so it's really nothing against her. I, I don't know if it was just my my bias that I really wanted somehow for Ashley Eckstein to be able to embody her in live action as well i don't know if maybe that's you know just me kind of having that nerd fandom and fighting against it but um i do think for some reason and maybe it's a leku she looks a little bit better here than i think she did in, in mandalorian i don't know we'll, we'll have to see um but that the spin move um i did see the last few episodes of clone wars season seven and and she pulls that um move off where she cuts through the floor and it's amazing to see it in live action i love the red lucasfilm this is i'm assuming that this is um taking place in um ezra's tower where he was living when they first found him and sabine took it over um after um, the events of rebels and she looks great her hair looks great i said it was a little bit of a retcon because coming up there's a shot that's right out of rebels of Sabine standing there watching Ahsoka arrive, and she had super short hair in that. Um, seeing the Lothcat is great, but these look like HK droids, maybe Thrawns. Um, seeing Chopper and, and Hera, I mean, my God, I am so, so super curious about these new dark side. I don't know if they're dark Jedi. I don't know if they're Sith, if they're maybe from the un known regions i have no idea i am so curious about them because they look incredible um this is the shot i was talking about this is straight out of the last um the last scene of rebels and um she's um on the top of ezra's tower and you can see she's got the longer hair and that's just what i mean by the retcon is and she's got the shorter hair and the, the kind of the darker and more purple um at the end of that where she's got the longer hair here which i am fine with she looks amazing uh this shot is incredible um i know we've seen uh i know we've seen like shots of um sabine standing at the mural um 
touching the mural she painted of the ghost crew and Ezra. And so um, I'm assuming that that all kind of goes around. I don't know. I'm, I'm absolutely, there's probably going to be time jumps <clears throat> and whatnot there, but that's fine. These ships look amazing. Seeing Mon Mothma is always great. I know I said Mon Marthma because I'm a potato, but it's fine. This is all I need to see of Thrawn right now. It's perfect. Um, and then when she says heir to the Empire, heir to the Empire, um, that Thrawn, um, the Thrawn trilogy that Timothy Zahn wrote back in, I, I'm not sure the the dates. It was, I think, the early 90s. I read all three of them. I wasn't like a major book reader, especially as a teenager, but I did absolutely um, avoid time with my friends actively, which nobody could believe, to lay in my bed and read those books. And they were incredible and I loved them. And I think I think I see some um, some possible parallels with there. Um, that Dark Jedi guy might be um, the stand-in for the uh, the clone Dark Jedi from there. I, I don't know. It's possible. Um, Morgan Elsbeth, I think is her name. It's Morgan something rather. Anyway, she showed up in Mandalorian, and I, it looks like she's probably going to be a really big force in here as well. Now this is curious a he looks amazing but b well okay c hera looks amazing i'm so happy to, hera was again one of my favorite characters and i'm so glad to see her get a little bit of time in here but this area here is very interesting and and it's the background i noticed it um almost right off the bat the um the runes and things um surrounding them and kind of what looks almost like outer space looks very much like um the world between worlds which is basically a nexus of time and space within the force that um ezra bridger uses to uh or discovers and actually rescues ahsoka i don't know if she's entering that space again and finds this guy here or it might be just the inside of that jedi temple or vault or something like that, and that's just what the walls look like. Either way, um, and of course, it looks very much like the runes and stuff in the Ahsoka logo. So, Ahsoka, Ahsoka logo. I'm, I'm entirely too excited right now. I'm so curious about her, and this is just a great looking um, uh, Vader in the hallway shot. Uh, really, like I said, the only view I need to see of. Ezra, and I don't know if this is maybe the hologram that he leaves the ghost crew um, when he disappears with Thrawn, and she maybe um, might be watching it. Now this, I am curious about, it almost looks like an Inquisitor. You can see the, um, you can see uh, the hilt of his blade. Um, I'm sure there's probably maybe some like some rogue inquisitors out there, but that's almost what it looks like. And from Tales of the Jedi, we know how she deals with them. Uh, yeah, I don't know about using the term Jedi because she's no Jedi, but um, and again, this this droid, I, I I'm not for some reason he's familiar to me, but I don't exactly know, but. Coming in August, guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am for this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see a Clone Wars um, watch along. Um, I would probably do it in um, the chronological order as opposed to the, um, the broadcast order. But um, it's something I'm thinking about for sure. Let me know um, if you are excited for Ahsoka. I just, please give it to me. Just give it to me. <laughs> um, all right, I'm taking this. This I'm done with this this janky video. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for everybody who's been watching the Star Trek Online um, story playthrough. I, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you watching this. Oh, I'm out of here. Take care. Uh, oh, YouTube stuff. I got to do YouTube stuff. The YouTube gods demand it. Um, first of all, uh, be sure to head over to twitch.tv slash smegco if you want to see us playing a variety of different um, science fiction and horror games, survival games, all that kind of jazz. It's also where we typically do our recordings for our um, Let's Play videos. Um, 
If you like this video, please leave a like. Also, subscribe if you are so kind. No pressure. I'm just happy to have you here. And um, be sure to share us with your friends and your enemies if you hated this. Share us with your enemies. It's fine. If you want to torture them, I'm good with that. Either way, bring them all in. Um, all right. I will talk to you later. Be excellent to each other. Take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you soon.